Good evening, I'm Len Cannon in the KHU 11 newsroom. Have you heard the latest in the Astros cheating scandal? Well, let me read it to you because we want to take your comments on the KHU 11 Facebook page. Another day, another wrinkle in the scandal. The Astros are being sued by a former pitcher named Mike Bolsinger. He says the Astros damaged his career because of the cheating. Uh, the former Blue Jays pitcher, he also pitched for uh, the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. He accuses the Strohs, listen to this, of unfair business practices, negligence, and intentional interference with contractual economic relations. What does that mean? It means he believes that because in his last game with the Blue Jays, uh, where the Astros uh, really got to him, he said after that game, he never pitched again in the majors. In fact, he wasn't even offered another contract. Uh, hence the term negligence and intentional interference with contractual economic relations. That's definitely a legal term. Now, Bolsinger is seeking unspecified damages. He wants the Astros to forfeit, listen to this, $31 million in bonuses that they earned from the 2017 World Series title. Then he wants the money to go to charity. All right, he spent four seasons in the minors, four seasons in the majors, played for three different teams. He was a 15th round draft pick. Uh, he was not setting the league on fire, but nonetheless, he is suing the Houston Astros. So I'd like to know, uh, if you go to our KHU 11 Facebook page, what are your thoughts about this? Now, the Astros, we know they cheated. Um, they have been penalized for that. They've lost draft picks to first round draft picks. Um, after this year, they're going to have a hard time rebuilding. Uh, they fired the manager, the general manager. They've hired a new team to come in. They've still got a lot of the stars uh, on this team. But um, do you think that the lawsuit has merit? Uh, do you think that this person uh, makes sense in the lawsuit? You have to remember, and the lawsuit, by the way, was filed in Los Angeles uh, District Court. That is the same city. Remember, we beat Los Angeles in the World Series in 2017. Uh, the Los Angeles City Council, a, uh, about two weeks ago, they uh, filed an appeal uh, and they asked Major League Baseball to strip the Astros of their World Series title. So Major League Baseball had already said, that's not going to happen. And I essentially said on the air that the Dodgers need to get over it. Some people got upset with that comment. Uh, the reason I said it, not because I'm giving the Astros a pass for cheating. That's not my point there. My point with the Dodgers and the city council is they knew that was not going to happen. The Astros were not going to be stripped of their championship, and it was nothing but uh, a stunt and a ploy to draw attention. That's all it was. Some of you, what do you think? Some people think that this Bolsinger, the pitcher, that this is nothing more than a stunt, a legal stunt, suing the Astros. So I want to know what some of you think. Here come... Uh, here come the messages on Facebook. Let's see here. Cody Mullen says, Bolsinger faced the Astros twice in a four-year career. Dude was trash. Well, I don't know what happened. I mean, I know what happened in his last outing against the Astros. He didn't do well. Jeremy Hamilton, have you seen his career numbers? He's only played against the Astros twice. Okay, so you guys are staying on top of it. He played against the Astros twice. Now he's suing them for unspecified damages, and he wants $31 million uh, uh, forfeited in bonuses from the World Series. Let's see, Karen Stokes says, and the good players will sooner, will sooner or later leave. She's talking about on the Astros. I hope that's not the case, Karen, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think it's uh, George Springer is in his final year before he becomes a free agent. But some other people, some of the other big stars are locked up. Uh, let's see, hmm, hmm, hmm. Patricia Hatton Williams, I'm going to read it phonetically because it's amusing. Everybody trying to make a dollar off the Astros. It's not, uh, Astros are not responsible for his inability. Uh, Patricia, a lot of people would agree with you on that point, given the kind of career he was having. Now, if this was one of the superstar pitchers of the game who said, you know what? This is totally unfair. Um, I've been lights out until 2017 against the Astros. Then, you know, then maybe you got an argument. But Bolsinger faced him twice, was not a great pitcher, was not even an average pitcher, and now he's suing the team. Uh, let's see here. 
Steve Hartman breaks it down even more. Steve says, guy won eight games in three years. Look in the mirror, dude. That's where the villain lives. This is why we like to hear from folks on Facebook, because some of y'all just keep it real, and, and I appreciate it. Uh, Diane Porter keeping it real, too. He's a lousy pitcher. That's why. Better to you, for you to say it than me, because I'm, I'm a little biased. I still root for the Strohs. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Jeremy Hamilton. Oh, Jeremy breaks it down. He says in the National League, 2014, Bolsinger's ERA was 550. 2015, ERA 362. 2016, ERA 683. 2017, ERA 631. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with baseball, those are horrible numbers. That means my boy was getting hit and hit often uh, every year that he was in the majors. Jeremy, thank you for the information. Uh, I'm assuming that Jeremy believes that the lawsuit is null and void and a waste of time. Uh, let's see, who else is responding? Mm. I like the information that folks are, are showing here. <laughs> Somebody said, anyone tried the broom thing? We're going to talk about that 10, by the way. That's a whole different story. Karen, good evening. Thank you for, sh for the shout out, Karen. Let's see. Sherry Cortez. Sherry, thank you for reaching out. Sherry says, this is ridiculous. As a mom of a collegiate athlete, been doing this a long time, sign stealing is nothing new. You still have to hit the ball and the Astros do it well. Get over it. Well, Sherry, you make a good point. Some people have argued that point, but at the same time, yes, uh, they violated the rules of the game. You are, let's be clear here, you are allowed to all teams try and steal the pitchers and the catcher signals. They all do. You just can't use technology. And the Astros put a camera in center field and then decoded what was going on. Uh, and then they banged on the trash can to indicate what type of pitch was coming to one of their hitters. So they took it to a whole nother level involving technology and that's why they got in trouble. But if you do it the old fashioned way, where maybe a guy's on second base just kind of figuring it out and you're trying to decipher, that's legal. But using technology, no. And by the way, the Boston Red Sox also are going about to be penalized uh, for uh, doing something similar. So, mm -hmm -hmm. Sherry Cortez, just love KHOU, Sherry. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. Uh, Jeremy Hamilton agrees. Yep, because Jeremy's the one that sent me the very high uh, ERAs for Mr. Bolsinger. And again, Bolsinger suing the Houston Astros in Los Angeles unspecified amount of money and also he wants the Astros to forfeit 31 million dollars in bonuses. So we will have more on this lawsuit coming up on KHU 11 News tonight at 10. Our uh, sports guy Jason Bristol will have the three reasons why this lawsuit is a strikeout. The three reasons why. We hope you'll see us at 10 and oh by the way opening day is just a few weeks away Pitchers and catchers report to spring training in a couple of days, so it's about to get on. We'll see you at 10.